Yo, welcome back guys to Steins Gate, Stupid Player Negative AE here. <sighs> Let's get right back into it. If that's true, then they saw her father die. She fought she saw her father die and ran away. Damn. <gasps> There's a knock on the door. Someone's here. Who? Hmm. Moeka, who had been squatting by the entrance, slowly lifts her head. This is wrong. The timing's too perfect. Today, Kuryu Moeka dies. This world line has already approved that fate. Has it come for her already? That's right, Moeka's not dead yet, huh? Moeka reaches for the doorknob. Wait, don't! I try to stop her, but it's too late. Moeka's already turning the doorknob. The door opens slowly, and there stands. Konnichiwa. What the f are you doing here? What is happening? An innocent greeting. Konnichiwa. A child's voice. Familiar. How did she find this place? How did she get here? Why did she come here? <laughs> These are all good questions. She ran away. Our eyes meet. Or met. Right after that I heard the gunshot. There's quotations around these. I don't know if that's... <laughs> what the fuck? Kill this bitch. Oh, I don't want to kill a little child. Oh. What are you going to do against a little child? That's that's a murderer. You stop that little... You imprison that little child. Is <laughs> someone... Someone take that little child and imprison her. Oh, shit. The next instant, Moika drops to her knees like a string-cut puppet. What is up with all the twists? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, fuck this little girl, dude. Ah, oh, I'm gonna imprison her. Imprison her! <laughs> There, there should be no, there should be no question. Someone should restrain her right now, and we call the police. Well, actually, that's not a good idea. What the f, dude? What do you do in this situation? Nothing. You do nothing in this situation. <laughs> she has a cleaver. Damn. <laughs> yes way. <laughs> Nay's lips twist into a victorious sneer. She looks straight at me, her eyes burning with intense hatred. Those aren't the eyes of a child. What's going on here? Is this really Nay? I won't forgive you. The venom in her voice chills me to the bone. Daddy died because of you. I'll never forgive you. I'll kill you with my own two hands. Kurusu and I stare in shock silence. Neither of us can move a muscle. This is an interesting situation to be in. Yeah. My heart skips a beat. I feel like someone just walked over my grave. I'll come for you in 15 years. I hope you spend them quivering in terror. Why 15 years? It's an oddly specific amount of time. And he tosses the knife away and leaves, laughing all the while. And leaves? I hear the f sound of her footsteps pattering down the stairs. Like, wh <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I guess he just gets away. Like, what do you do in that situation? It comes up and murders a bitch and leaves. <laughs> Isn't that a crazy freaking ability? <laughs> Just a child walk around kill anybody you want. What, what the hell is anybody else gonna do? 
悪魔が何かが取り付いていたのか That is super weird. I have to struggle just to move a finger. <laughs> Not to mention, Moeka's dead now. Moeka's clothes are soaked in blood. There's a gaping wound in her abdomen where Nay stabbed her. Calm down. Kurisu yells for me to come to my senses, and then she takes out her phone. Check on Kiryu san. I'll call an ambulance. Don't call an ambulance. W no, wait, before that. Maybe you should just send an email. Is this gonna be the. Is this gonna be the deciding email of whether or not I go on this path or not? Please do not let this be the email. I feel an irrational surge of anger at her composure, but I know that she's right. Once I send the email, this world line will be undone. I know that. But I still run to Moika's side. When I lift her up in my arms, I see that her chest is covered in blood. Moika! She's my enemy. Hang in there. She killed Mayori. Moika! I can't understand her. I can't forgive her. And yet I can't help but call her name. Because in a sense, she's a victim too. That's what I'm saying. Moika slowly opens her eyes. Her eyes are blank and unfocused. She's fading fast. There's not much I can do about it though, right? Like, she's fated to die. So, like, what am I going to do in this situation? I can't. She tries to speak, but her voice catches in her throat. I bring my ear closer to her lips. I killed someone? Precious to you. Yes, you did. Countless times. <laughs> Not only on this world line, but on others. This is my punishment. Aww. The will of fate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I silently squeeze Moika's hand. Moika doesn't squeeze back. She no longer has the strength. I had nothing except FB. The only place I belonged. I would kill to protect it. You're right to hate me. I'm sorry. You to see I forgive you. The words come to my lips unbidden, but as soon as I speak them, I understand why. Mueka does not kill Maori on this world line. Even if she could, she could. It would not happen until tomorrow. This Mueka, the one dying in my arms, is innocent. And yet, even now, she says, "I'm sorry." How can I not answer her? You just. I forgive you. Perhaps the words are meaningless. Forgiving Moeka will not cure Ney's hate, neither will Moeka's death. I don't even know if I truly mean what I'm saying, but still, I remember what Kudusu said. My goal is to save Maori, not avenge her. So here now, I forgive you. The anguish seems to fade from Moeka's face. Her eyes slowly close. A tear slides down Moeka's cheek. That was cute. It like actually slid down. Or, or faded away. Her hand slips from my grasp. She's no longer breathing. Biting my lip, I lay Moeka to, less, to rest on the floor. Damn, so... This is just a murderous little girl on the street? What are we gonna do about that? Like I like I know nothing, but like oh my goodness. Like there has to be something that we gotta do about that. Kurisu calls to me in a weak voice. I think you should send the D mail. She's very serious. Everything's ready at the lab. 
Yeah. Mwake and FB are gone, but Maori's fate remains unchanged. Their universe still demands her death. No. Hey, Christina. When I send the D-mail, change divergence. Do you think Moeka's fate will change? Based on the attractor field model you spoke of, she'll be more likely to live if divergence exceeds 1%. Sorry. I wish I knew what to say. Don't worry about it. I stand up. Moeka's blood clings to my hands. It won't come off, even when I wipe it with the tissue. I stop trying and take out FB's phone. I nod to Kudasu. She calls Doru and Taru and tells him to activate the phone wave name simply to change. I take one like look one last look at Moeka's body lying there. Alright, so this is the divert this is the the siding D mail. <laughs> I really want to send this email, but I know, I know that I won't get this ending. I have to see, like, what 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 happens? Do I just get killed by May? And like, I guess we find out, right? But Moika's not dead, and Mayori lives. All because I changed the past. Moika, if you're going to apologize for a sin you didn't commit, then I must apologize as well. I'm responsible for twisting your fate. And for twisting the fate of Tejin Tenojine. I don't know. She just effing up and murdered somebody. I don't know how I would feel if someone murdered... Or if, if I saw my father just murder himself in the freaking center of my living room. Right. Because I've not been there. But I'm pretty sure my first reaction wouldn't be to just to murder people. <laughs> I mean, I guess if I felt that they... I don't know. I don't know, this is a great line there. Um, uh, she ruined an innocent girl's life and made her something other than she, what she was meant to be. Is it okay just to leave her like that? Of course, if I send the D-mail now, this world line will be undone. Nay's twisted fate will be corrected. There's no point in worrying about it. I should just think about Maori. I shouldn't burden myself with any more problems. Is this really okay? Of course it is. Interesting. All right, let's go. Send the email. That's all I need to do. Why won't my fingers move? I already know what I need to do. And yet... Okabe. Okabe. Wasn't there something strange about that girl? The girl? You mean Nei-chan? Yeah, she just murdered somebody in front of you. Something strange. She was like a different person. What did she mean? She'll kill me in 15 years. Yeah, it's an oddly specific amount of time, dude. It bothers me. Does she know something? What was she implying? Don't worry about it, Okabe. Send the email right now. That'll solve everything. I put FB's phone in my pocket. I can't pretend I didn't see that. Nay's crime is partly my responsibility. I need to know what she meant when she promised to kill me in 15 years from now. I'm time leaving. Back to the lab. Interesting. Could see size, but I pretend not to hear it. Alright, we're on a different ending. Moeka's ending? Maybe? Just an en another ending, I guess? Our enemy, but... Kurusu glances at Moeka, then whispers into my ear. Isn't she our enemy? It's about 7 a.m., right? Well, yeah, but where did that question come from? After timely being four hours back, I find myself in front of the station. This is right after Moik and I met up with Kudusu after returning from Narito Airport. After this comes the Tenoji residence. Moik is standing a few meters away, kicking dirt and boredom. 
Mueka was dead just a few minutes ago, but now she's perfectly fine. I feel no surprise. I suppose I've grown accustomed to this particular faucet of time travel. Uh, after all, I've seen Mayori come back to life countless times already. There is one thing that... There is one thing experience has taught me. Today, Moika and Tenoji will die, and there's nothing we can do to stop it. I know it's cruel, but I didn't come back here to save them. I don't have the means to, and this isn't my problem. The problem is Nay. We arrive in front of Tenoji's house just like we did before I time leaped. But this time, I wait outside for Kudasu. Moika enters alone, expressionless as ever. While we wait outside, I tell Kudasu what's about to happen. I also tell her to wait a little after she hears the gunshot and then go inside and take Tenoji's phone. Feels like an eternity passes in silence. And then... <gasps> Kudasu gasps. Her body goes stiff. There really was a gunshot. What do you think, I'm freaking lying, girl? I immediately look around. Just as Kodasu told me, I see a girl come out of the window. She walks away quickly, but at the same time taking care not to make a sound. That's not how a child acts after witnessing her father's death. Mother. Wait! Nay looks over her shoulder. She spares me <laughs> she spears me with eyes full of hatred. Damn, this girl is hardcore! Damn! Just freaking <sighs> It's pitiful, but a tiny little girl is making me nervous. Yeah, that's, that's another thing. It's like you could just freaking like pick her up and bring her to the police station. <sighs> Something is very wrong here. This Nay is like a completely different person. I want to know her true identity. That's why I time leaped instead of sending a email. Nay is still running, ignoring my calls to stop. I run after her. Yo, I used to be fast as a little kid. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh no, okay. Out, out of shape as I am, still. No, 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 no. I used to be super fast when I was a kid. The distance between us quickly shortens. Nay keeps running, occasionally looking back at me and gritting, grinding her teeth in a very unchildlike manner. Normally, a child being chased with a by a man will cry and scream things like stay away or help. But this girl says nothing. The only sound is her heavy breathing. Tomare! Stop! I call out to her once more when she's nearly in arm's reach. Unexpectedly, Nay slows down and eventually stops to catch her breath. Looks like she realized she can't get away. From the sound of her breathing, she must be out of the limit. We're alone. Could assume Moeka must still be at the house. And the streets are pretty empty thanks to Oban holidays. They just recycled the, the background there. Perfect. I was afraid someone might report me as a child molester. Now I can get what I need to know out of this strange girl who looks like Nay. I call out to her as soon as I... I call out to her as I catch my breath. Bobaiba. Are you really Tenoji Nei? <laughs> Nei glares at me as she catches her breath. You plan to kill Kiryu Moeka after this, don't you? That's right. <laughs> she punctuates her nonchalant reply with a cruel smile. That is not the face of a child. Revenge for your father? You and Kiryu Moeka killed daddy. Your dad killed himself. He blew his own brains out. He would have done it even if we hadn't been there. It's not our fault. I don't care. What? Kiryu Moeko was there when daddy died, but she didn't stop him. I won't forgive her. Nor you, Okabe Runtura. What the fuck is... This girl needs discipline. She needs a timeout and like... What, weren't, you weren't there, but daddy... 
wouldn't have died if you hadn't gotten involved. She blaming me for finding the IBM 5100? How the hell was I supposed to know? But I won't kill you now. I can't. This tiny little girl, barely half my art, my height, looks up at me with a smile that chills my blood. I'll kill you in 15 years, keep living until then? What is that specific time limit? I get on my knees and grab Nay by the shoulders. I hold back my terror and meet her stare for stare. And yet this little girl, or this girl doesn't even flinch. Who are you? <laughs> she isn't Tenoji Nei. What do you mean you'll kill me in 15 years? Exactly what it sounds like. 15 years from now, I killed you. I'm trying to think. There's still a mystery, um, obviously. You know what could have happened? And this is just a theory, um, that, you know, freaking tuba player theories, here we go. But, so someone used our, our time loop machine? Without us knowing, because we, we we saw the electricity, like something was going to happen, or someone did use our machine, and then when we went up, like we couldn't find anybody, no one was there, and we still don't know what that is, or at least I don't think I do. And if I do, please tell me in the comments who used it, because <laughs> I need to know. Well, actually, unless unless it's spoiling something, in which case don't. From the future. Did she just try to catch me completely off guard? Holy f this chick. <laughs> oh yo, this 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 right here could be a freaking desktop background. That's crazy shit right here. This is a really good CG thing. She is crazy. So um, we still don't know who used the time loop machine. Um, obviously, she could have like went back in time with Cern's time machine, and then used my time loop machine to get into her mind. So that way she could, oh, I don't know. I don't know. There's just a whole bunch of stuff that I think this could possibly be. That is crazy. Instead. <laughs> she laughs. Just like she laughed when she killed Moeka. Damn it. The intense praying bings me. She could kill me right now. For a moment, I panic, but somehow I manage to convince myself that I'm fine. I won't die here, I tell myself. This world line won't accept that. It's just like Nay said herself. It's not that she won't kill me. She can't. If she tried, something sh would surely interfere. That's true. Want to hear how I killed you? In the future, you were one of the founders of the resistance against CERN. But I captured you, and imprisoned you, and tortured you every which way I could think of. You cried, and screamed, and begged for your life, all while covered in piss and shit. This is dark. <laughs> you were one sorry sight, Okaberintaro. After I ran out of things to do, I finally slit your throat, and then I stabbed you, over and over and over again. 
so many times I don't even remember. That's how your life is going to end. That's your punishment for murdering daddy. Nabe grabs my arm and digs her tiny fingers into the wound. Damn. This is really a psychotic... Like, this whole chapter has been like a psychotic trip. It's it's kind of awesome. I love, like, psych, like, psychotic people like this. Like the murderous, just like over the top. I don't know why. It just interests me for some reason. I can't shake off Nay's hands. I can't even move a finger against the pain. <laughs> Cern confiscated your time leap machine. We kept it locked away for 15 years until I came for it. After I became a rounder and killed you, I used that machine to come all the way back here. It was hard, let me tell you. That piece of shit can't leave more than 48 hours at a time. Yep, that's it. I knew it. I f yes, 100%. Yeah, 15 years and 48 hour increments? Jesus. 2,738 leaps. I messed up a few times, though, so it was really more than, like, twice that. At least, I kind of lost count after a while. At least, I kind of lost count of, Huh. When I came to this world line, I went back to the lab after learning of Moika's suicide. And once I got there, I found evidence someone had used the time leap machine. So that was Nay's final time leap. And he keeps staring into my eyes as her fingers crawl deeper into my wound. Damn. Oh, it's weird. I bite my lip in a desperate attempt to bear the pain. My blood won't stop flowing. It collects into a puddle that stains the asphalt dark red. Revenge was all I lived for. I won't let anyone get in my way. I will kill Kiryu Moeka with my own two hands. I won't let that bitch kill herself. She doesn't deserve to go out easy. You leapt 15 years just for that. She's insane. And it was Moeka and I who made her that way. Who turned an innocent girl into a creature of hatred and starved for vengeance. We stole 15 years of her life. 15 years. I can't understand what it's like to live with such hatred for so long. Just for that. <laughs> Nay's slender fingers pried deeper into my wound. So deep I can feel her fingers against my bone. Uh, I mean, uh, it's weird feeling to read that. It might not mean much to you, but to me, killing you two means everything. So you kill Moeka, but what comes next? Next? Are you gonna repeat those 15 years all over again? What do I care about those 15 years? There's nothing for me there. She does not cry. She doesn't sneer. Her voice is flat and emotionless as she speaks these words. There's nothing more I can say to this girl I destroyed. At last, Nay lets go of my arm. She looks in disgust at my hands, now covered in my blood. I don't get quite time travel. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Because if she time leaps so far back. Okay. So the future... So you're telling me that the future is... We're in one... There's no... Okay. I'm sorry I'm taking so much of this episode just like spewing up my thoughts. But I need to... I need this answered. So... Time travel is like a... The way that this game portrays it. Um, it's like a bubble. Almost. Right? Like a world, kind of. 
um, where everything is happening, like this whole world has all happened. Like the future's already taken place because fate has decided what's going to happen. The present has already decided what's going to happen. Past has already decided what's going to happen. So it's just this like circle-ish thing that's already happened. So on this world line that we messed her up on, she time leaps back but then when was the first time that she witnessed her father dying without time having been time li it is so hard for me to explain what I'm trying to ask guys if if the future has already happened right and the past has already happened how are you able to time leap to a point before how are you up to time leap to a past point? Oh, I don't know how to describe I'm just going. I'm just going. Because I can't explain it. I just don't understand how someone from the future can time leap to the past and not have always that happened. In this instance. When was the first time that her, like, actual Nay witnessed her father dying and then went to the future? And then she time leaped back, because this is going to happen every time. It's just so weird to me. <sighs> That's so weird. That's so weird to me. So I'm, like, bleeding. <laughs> Dry laughter leaks out of my mouth. The girl is disconnected from causality, just like I am. I asked her what she would do after killing Moeka. She didn't answer. The first time she lived those 15 years, all she had was revenge. After time leaping thousands of times, she exacted that revenge. How would she live those 15 years the second time around? Yeah, but hasn't this happened before? And like, oh my god. That's weird to me. Will her revenge become com be complete then, or will it continue forever until she forgets she until even she forgets why? The thought squeezes my heart like a vice. Does time travel bring nothing but pain? We built the time machine out of curiosity. We were fools. It's not for our if not for our meddling, Cern would not have targeted us. Mayori would not have died. Suzuha would not have had to travel to the past. Ferris would not have lost her father twice. Lukaku would not have to forsake her feelings for me. And Moeka would not have killed Maori. <laughs> Kudusu runs up to me. She turns at the pale side of my bleeding arm. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> she kneels in front of me. Worry is etched on her face. <laughs> the phone. I brought it, but... Kudusu hands me FB's phone. I start typing out the mail with my left hand. Hey, tell me what happened, will you? Should I call an ambulance? Calm down. I'm gonna send the email now. R right. If the world line changes, this then this wound will go away. Yeah, but who cares about my wound? To know she's death, Moika's death, the damage to Nay's soul will all be undone. That's what matters. Standby. <laughs> Stop search PC unneeded standby. I finish the mail and take a breath. No. Hey. Why do you think Tanoji didn't kill Moeka? Moeka What do you mean? Any rounder who finds an IBN 5100 is silenced. No exceptions. That's what Tanoji said. In that case, the one who should have been eliminated first was Moeka. She found the IBN 5100 in the first place. And yet, Tanoji cut contact with her instead. And when we exposed his true identity, he shot himself. Not Moeka. I think, I think he wanted to save Moeka. 
Perhaps that's just wishful thinking. Perhaps I'm just looking for an ounce of comfort in all this suffering. Even if that was Tenoji's intention, it was meaningless. Moika will die today. Whether by her own hands or Nei's, it doesn't matter. However, I hope it works out on the beta war line. They are the enemy. I should hate them for killing Maori. But in some sense, Tenoji, Moeka, and Nei are all just victims of my foolish experiments. I pray that they can live normal lives, at least on the beta world line. For all their sakes, as well as Mei for all their sake or for their sake as well as Maori's, I must send this email. Sorry, Nei. Once this email is sent, the world line will be undone. But I can't let you have your revenge. This is weird. Because I wasn't going to send the email before, and now I just sent it? <laughs> the world line shatters, warps, and reforms. Eventually, the sensations disappear, and the color gradually returns to the world. I find myself standing in the street near the lamb. The burning pain in my right arm is suddenly gone. I look down. There's no bl wound, no blood. Instead, I'm holding a convenience store bag with two bottles of Dr. P. I guess it worked. I head straight for Moika's apartment. When I get there, Moika opens the door normally and peeks out at me. She looks fine. No signs of despair. No blood stain by the door. No knife either. How did you know where I... Let me kill some time here. I barge into the room. The hour of Moika's death passes with no sign of Nay. The world line has changed. It's so weird to me. I don't need an IBM 5100 anymore, Moika. Moika's right in front of me, but she sends me a ma she sends me mail. It feels like forever since we last conversed like this. What do you mean? My supervisor told me to stop looking. FB told you to stop. <laughs> How did you know about FB? Where did you get that information? Moika. So FB's still alive. I fear relief, but also fear. I mustn't forget that he is my enemy. For now, however, I'm more interested in what Moika just said. FB cancelled their mission to retrieve the Ibn... Yes? Didn't I cancel the mission? I canceled the mission. What do you mean? Maybe they can he canceled her mission so they wouldn't be eliminated. I canceled it. If that's the truth, then maybe he w really was trying to save Moika. Live in fear and regret, Okabe Rintaro, until we meet again in 15 years. I wonder what happened to Nei. I can't get that childish yet hate-filled voice out of my head. On that world line, I turned an innocent girl into a murderer. I bite my lip hard. Hard enough to draw blood. I won't fear you, Nay, nor will I repent. That world line has already been undone. But how will things turn out on this world line? No. There's no making. There's no point in thinking about it. If the plan worked, the Iban 5100 should already be back in my possession. And if that's the case, then there's no need to stay on this world line either. All right. On the way back to the lab, I stop by the brawn tube workshop and peek in through the window. And at that, I'm going to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, hit the like button. I'm sorry that I rambled a lot. Um, I went a little extra because I rambled. Um, but yeah. <sighs> I, um, I did not see Murderous Nay coming, but it was cool. 
it's a cool experience, I guess. Uh, thank you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.